hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can detect and remove gibberish words from the text corpus so oftentimes we have encountered this issue wherein when we are working with the text data and when we are getting the output there are chances that some gibberish uh, words are actually coming and gibberish words are nothing but it, it doesn't have any sort of meaning it's just some random random characters actually which are clubbed together and uh, like when we are scrapping the data or when we are finally presenting the output there are chances that gibberish output is there and we don't need that so one such example is this particular case wherein if you see south african miners return to work so it's it's clearly s s talking about something in between we can see some gibberish character so like it can happen actually when we are scrapping the data from web and like when are we extracting data from ports so but we don't need this information in the final output and it can come in many forms actually it can come in short uh, form like it, it will be like very long text something like this so we have to ideally remove these kind of text in the uh, output actually so for that there is a package called gibberish detector and we can simply install it using pip install command and once we install this gibberish and uh, there is one more additional thing which you have to do so if you go to their github page so in the github page uh, they have actually explained how they are uh, actually working with this uh, gibberish detector so uh, they so there is a model that has to be trained from this particular corpus big dot text and big dot txt is nothing it's it's a long text document it's it's nothing but a text corpus and we will be uh, training a model on top of this particular data so this is the input data set actually and uh, so basically this model is what uh, we have to actually kind of uh, train so or, or already this in this particular package so uh, in this example if you see here so they are actually uh, using this particular gibberish detector so in this folder you will be able to find the training parts and everything so we will be able to kind of see how they are actually training on top of this data so once we complete these steps like we'll be getting a uh, file called big dot model and we can save this big dot model in the local folder like this big dot model and we can actually invoke this model into the directory so let's see how the rest of the steps are actually being done so i'll be giving this big dot model file also along with this repository so you can simply load it from the file which i'm actually providing so we have the text file and then uh, we'll be actually loading the big dot model file like this so if you run these two lines then let's understand what exactly is this uh, detector so detector will be having yeah it has four uh, parameters like this so let's see what is the first function so let's give the text corpus like this and see understand what exactly is the output so it's giving some number 4.36 so let's try it out for some other uh, case where it is not gibberish so let's first give only this portion and uh, what let's see what exactly it is returning so it's returning 2.56 so uh, let's give this gibberish part and understand what exactly is the probability number which it's being assigned to Okay, so it's giving a higher number. So maybe the lower number is good text and the higher number is so yeah, so basically the probability value. And finally we'll be able to return okay whether it's a gibberish or not. So let me remove this and we'll give the actual data. So this is the text corpus which we want to experiment. So this text corpus it's returning its uh, gibberish text because it's there there is some gibberish characters letters words actually inside this text corpus so now now let's see what we can actually do to kind of uh, so our application will be like uh, we need to somehow remove this gibberish characters from the text corpus so that's the application which we are looking 
and uh, in the final output we don't need any gibberish kind of words and our text should be very clear so for that we can actually write a function using this uh, model so uh, function remove gibberish and we can give text as an argument and uh, let's first uh, so we can actually uh, do it in multiple ways but like uh, maybe this will be the simplest approach so like we can actually give uh, we can split the or we can tokenize this entire text and here I am using a simple uh, just space as a delimiter and tokenizing it maybe we can use uh, some good tokenization to kind of detect the words properly and split it so that also can be done so here I am just splitting based on the space character and once we have this, uh, we need to look through this uh, particular uh, list. So for that, we can actually look like this. And uh, so once we are actually looping, we need to uh, kind of uh, check whether this particular word is a gibberish or not. So we can give this as a condition. So if detector dot is gibberish of i equal to we can give false. So if it is false, then we can append it to uh, uh, processed list. So we can give it into process list, and we can simply append those words which are not really gibberish. And once the looping is done, we can return this list combined uh, together to form the string and we can actually give it like this right so now we have the function ready so now let's try to run this so so let's print the output once again so this is the text corpus and then this is our output okay all right so we are able to get the output so uh, so we we are getting the first portion very precisely and from retreat from so this whole portion is actually gone and then it is coming back so European European is gone actually so it detected it as a gibberish and retreat from center of employees and enterprises even this portion is gone so uh, maybe we can even try out by giving the threshold instead of checking which has a gibberish or not and maybe like by experimenting a little bit we'll be able to kind of figure out what is the difference between this word and then these kind of special characters or we can simply even give a check like okay we can just discard this kind of stuff so this is uh, a very useful helpful function actually like when we are working with text data so we'll be getting good amount of uh, like good confidence in what we are actually extracting or showing it to the clients or showing it in the final product as a textual output rather than giving some noisy stuff as the output so that's it and uh, thank you guys for watching this video have a great day